Good morning, everyone. I just finished an intense run. Yay, four miles at 7.0 miles an hour. I think it's been a while since I've run 7.0. I did have to work up to it. I started at 6.0 and kept bump, bumping it up a tenth of a mile until I was at seven. <coughs> I hit seven miles an hour on by the time I started the second mile and then held it. I did take a couple breaks. I think I took maybe three little standing breaks um, but I did it four miles at 7.0. I needed that because I seriously needed to work off all of that food I ate yesterday. After I was talking about trying to keep it light, things went a little crazy starting with the movie popcorn and then um, those things that my daughter-in-law made that I cannot still pronounce. <laughs> Those were so good. They were so basic, so simple, but so good. And the reason, I think the original recipe, the original Assyrian recipe is a little more detailed than that, but my son is very picky. So that's the way he likes them. That's the way he'll eat them. And they were delicious. Anyway, I am headed back to shower quickly and I am meeting my youngest son for lunch and his girlfriend and my granddaughter. So hopefully you guys will get to see more of them today. Check in with you. Okay guys, I'm headed to Firehouse Subs right now, Firehouse something, to eat dinner with my baby boy, to eat lunch with my baby boy. I have no idea what they serve there. He used to work there, so I think he likes it a lot. I know it's a sandwich place. <laughs> I did a, I literally have not had time to look at anything on the menu yet, so I did do a quick uh, look through um, the tracker. Um, and something came up that was Firehouse Subs Light something. It was, I believe, 11, 11 or 13 points. Firehouse Subs under 500 hook and ladder something. That's what I'm gonna have. <laughs> um, hopefully, I'm sure they have that. I will look for that or an option that is similar and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get there. It sounds good. I have had so far zero anything today. I haven't even had coffee. I'm seriously depriving myself of coffee and I haven't had my Timmy tea for two or three days since I left my mom's house. So I don't know why. I just haven't had time for it and I've been like running around like crazy in the morning. Um, I haven't had the colon tea so I think tonight I will probably try to have the colon tea um, but we are doing a massage in the morning so I'm not sure, but I haven't been having my teamy and I'm really feeling it. I'm feeling like I really need it. So anyway, I will show you guys what lunch looks like when we get there. Jocelyn. Hi. Hi, little fire girl. Here, put it on. That didn't last very long. Here, wait, hang on. Like a mommy. Daddy? No, put it on. 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 Hi, Jocelyn. Hi. She's like, you She's like, there, take it off. Hi. <laughs> So I literally just realized that I told him to do a small combo, which was a four inch sandwich, and I got the medium combo, which was a six inch sandwich. Of course, it was in front of me, so of course I ate it all, and I just now realized that's not what I ordered. Oh well. The sauce, by the way, was really delicious. It was all really good. Ready? Oh! Oh Hi. my gosh! What is that? Her face? <gasps> what is that? <gasps> give it kisses, Dustin. Squeeze it. Hey, give it Squeeze kisses. Squeeze it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me see. Give it kisses. Squeeze it. Give him a kiss. Mwah. Give him a kiss. Mwah. <gasps> give it kisses. Mwah. Oh, <laughs> oh do you hug. love him? Give him a hug. Her squish his belly. Look Give here, him. squish his belly. Oh, come here. Oh, come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Sit down. Come here. Sit down. 
Sit. <laughs> Are you not going to do it? Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Oh my goodness. She's like, where'd it go? Oh, it landed in the truck? <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Jocelyn, you gotta get out of the way, baby. <laughs> Come here, right. Jocelyn. Sit. Sit. Mia, sit down. Mia, sit. Good girl. Oh, bring me that stick. Bring me that stick. <laughs> okay, so I am in Walmart shopping with my daughter-in-law, Alexis. Hello! Because <laughs> I'm so cold, I have to buy pajamas! So I'm buying these super warm, fluffy pajamas. And what are we looking at? Okay, tell me. So am scary. I crazy or would anybody seriously... I'm going to turn the camera around. Hang you on. find Alexis? This awesome cow uh, that's with the awesome udders. Really? In case you get thirsty. <laughs> Why am oh. I craving chocolate milk now? Moo. <laughs> okay, I am still so cold that I had to I had to get a scarf. I had to get a scarf. Isn't it beautiful? It will match a lot of my denim this winter. And guess what guys? It was two dollars. I think it was accidentally two dollars, but it was two dollars. Guys that. outfit of the day. I know you've been waiting for it. It's been a long time coming. Check it, check it. New scarf. Yeah. Hey guys, so we are at the tasting room in Pocatello, Idaho. We're gonna wine taste, but I had to show you guys this because I have to show you this awesome setup. This is brilliant, and I don't know why anybody in California has not thought of this. I should be first. I should open a store. So check this out. First of all, you buy a card, you put money on the card, and then you drink to your little heart's content. <laughs> so these are all of the choices you get. I'm telling you, the line goes all the way down. But, okay, so let's take, I don't recognize any of these, so this is gonna be fun. So here's the little spout thingy here, and you choose your wines here. The first one is one ounce, so 150, and then 450 for three ounces, and 750 for five ounces. So, I'm gonna start at the start. Except this one's, I think this one is two fifty, so I'm gonna start with a one dollar. <laughs> I'm being a little cheap here because I got ten bucks and I gotta make it stretch. So I'm gonna do a one dollar pour. Let's see how this works. Oh wait, you can use the card. Oh, I have to use. I have to pay for it. <laughs> Here's the, the card. card. It looks a little mysterious. There's absolutely nothing on it. <laughs> they don't have a logo or anything. I wonder what kind of trouble I could get into with this. So there's a little chip here. Let's see how it works. What do I do? <laughs> I just don't want it to pour out and waste my wine. So I'm going to rest that there just in case it comes out fast. So, okay. Just it like... Ah! Okay, I'm going to go back. Oh, I think we need your help. <laughs> we don't know how to finish the wine. <laughs> We're trying really hard, but... It's not working out so well. Okay, Sorry, so I have the card in first. Oh, put it in? Yeah, Where do we this is with the chip facing down. And Where? The slot. Oh. oh, magical slot for the magical chip. And then, yeah, should work from there. And then just, okay, yeah. and I can just, okay. I'm like all nervous. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that was one ounce. Look at that sad little ounce. Do you know how many one ounces I drink in a day? <laughs> a lot. Okay, this is a, the Spanish Porter Cabernet Sauvignon. Here we go. First taste. Oh, it's pretty good. Is it good? Yeah, it's, it feels like a cross between a Merlot and a Cabernet. Okay. Okay, so now I'm swinging back over to my parents' house, gonna meet with my parents and my sister and my niece tonight, and then we are going to Red Lobster for dinner. I did a quick check of the tracker for Red Lobster dinners and didn't, 
I, I really only glanced at it. I haven't had time to look at the menu, to plan anything, so um, I didn't see anything that jumped out at me, so what I'm gonna do is just keep it basic. You guys know I love baked potatoes, so I'm gonna do something very basic with a baked potato. Um, I think I'm gonna have one of the Cheddar Bay Biscuits, which are six smart points, and then I'm going to have a baked potato and some kind of fish. So um, usually I would do steak and a baked potato, but hey, we're going to Red Lobster, go with fish. I'll show you guys what it looks like in a while. By the way, that wine tasting was super fun and awesome, but the pours were literally very small, one ounces. So I think I literally only had eight ounces the whole time. So I'm counting seven smart points for the wine. So Red Lobster delicious as always. I realize that it's kind of funny that I have actually eaten salmon and a baked potato for two meals so far on this vacation, but I guess it's just a really good delicious go-to for me when I eat out. So I haven't counted all of the points yet, um, but I will put them on the photos that you will see before this clip. I am actually feeling like I really need to pull back on the food right now because I know that I do eat more than once a day, but I feel like I eat one main meal a day and right now I'm definitely eating two main meals a day and I'm just feeling a little bloated, a little stuffed, just a little overdone. So um, I am probably going to, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to stick with wine tonight because it's less bloating or sangria because it's less points. So I have to figure that out. Um, but <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just feeling, oh, I'm feeling like there's a lot of eating going on over here. Um, also, I have, I kind of forgot about that leaving one bite thing, um, but today I did it. <laughs> Tonight I did it. I left a bite of potato and a bite of broccoli. So <laughs> it's not much, but it's a start. So there's that. Um, and then also, I, I, I know that tomorrow we're going to be making sushi, so that should be very, very light. And then we are also going out to dinner. I'm taking my youngest son and his girlfriend out to dinner, so that could be very light. I think we're probably going to a Japanese teppanyaki um, restaurant, so that's one of the restaurants where they cook on the grill directly in front of you. It's like Benihana. So it could be light, um, but we'll see. So that's the plan for tomorrow. And then Sunday, uh, we are having a pizza party at my parents' house. It is the day before I leave, so everyone is going over for one last pizza party. So I could technically keep that light, especially if I only eat that for the day. That could be very helpful. So those are my last two things that I've got going on. I also would really love to do cheese and wine on the plane on the way home. Um, so I may pick up some good cheeses and some crackers for that. Um, I feel like I want to go a little better than the baby bell and the string cheese. So um, I may do that. And you know what? That might work out okay if that's my main meal for that day. So I just feel like with the intermittent fasting that I've been doing for quite a while now, a couple months, um, it I feel better on that whole one main meal a day thing. I know I do have um, like a smaller lunch at work and then I have um, a, a couple of light fruit snacks throughout the day, but um, this, this here is too much. So it's all been very delicious, but yeah, Julie's getting full. So anyway, I'm waiting here to meet my son and his girlfriend and I'm going back home with them. So I will, not sure how much more video we're gonna be doing tonight, but we may get into some shenanigans and I'll show you what happens. Um, and of course, I'll show you my grand total on points for the day when it's over. I am also getting a cold, <laughs> which is very annoying and very frustrating. It's at the stage now where you know it's coming and you can do nothing about it. <laughs> And I know I'm doomed and I'm going to have two weeks of misery ahead of me because that's how long they last for me. So I'm super annoyed about that. I've got just the sinus thing going on right now, but it's coming and I can't stop it. So I'm going to go into Fred Meyer and pick up some emergency 
and some Zycam. I think that's all I can really do right now, so I'm gonna give that a try and see if it helps. Um, I think the only thing that really, the thing that helps the most is sleep, and I'm not gonna get a ton of that the next few days. Okay, what better thing to do on a Friday night with your daughter-in-law than to do wine tasting? This is what we're doing tonight, guys. So we're starting, actually, I just wanted to show you the labels because they're super random and weird. So we're starting with this Paranoia Red Blend. Dakota picked this out. Dakota's my son. And <laughs> Jocelyn thinks that's funny. <laughs> then we're doing this Chalkboard Merlot. And Alexis picked that out. Then we're doing some Gnarly Head. Gnarly Head Pinot Noir. I picked that out. I think I've had a Gnarly Head before. So bottoms up for us, guys. Bye. What did we just order? What is this? What have we done? Dakota, what's here? We got four lava cakes, which oh is like gosh. melted chocolate inside of chocolate. And then yes. we got garlic cheesy bread. Yes. And then a large pizza. What's on the pizza? Half Hawaiian and half pepperoni. Because it's a crime to put pineapple on your pizza. So. It's not a crime. <laughs> it's pineapple on your pizza. It's the best. Dakota, what do you think we should eat first? These lava cakes for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why? Why Definitely. should we eat lava cake they're first? They're nice and warm right now, and it just be a waste if you don't. Take a That's... bite. Show us how, how they work. <laughs> Show us how they work. Mm. What's, What's inside? inside? Let me see. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's the best. How much were those? How much did this meal cost? Were they, even, <laughs> were they even worth that? Yeah, definitely. Okay, good. I'm going to have one too. I'm yeah. Sure.